here with Macklemore. Welcome back to Vegas. Thank you. I know you've played here many times, but now you're playing in Allegiant Stadium, like our biggest venue. Would 12-year-old Ben Haggerty believe that you would be playing in Allegiant Stadium? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Definitely not. Uh, for me, it was always just like, let me get outside of the Northwest. You know what I really wanted to do? Was play enough shows where I couldn't count how many shows I had played. And are you at that point now? I think I surpassed that point really? a good a good decade ago. I can't count at all. I love how you talk about how you just begged your parents to let you stick with this, and they mm -hmm. were they were really big influences in your and your career getting started. Your dad built you a studio. I mean, how hard did you have to convince them that this was going to be something for you? I mean, I think any parent. If you're looking at the odds and you have a kid that's now gone to college, got out, got some sort of, you know, job just to kind of pass the time and they're like, no, I, trust me. Um, you know, I mean, the chance of making it as a professional musician is not great, but um, yeah. So it was, it was tough for, I think, my dad to just be like, yeah, keep going for it. <laughs> keep going for it. Um, at a certain point, he was like, keep going to a new job that you need to go apply for it now. And now now that you're here in Vegas and performing at our base venue, and you're on tour with Imagine Dragons, who are our hometown boys. Yeah. How is it, do you feel like you're playing on their turf? Are you like, no, I, I've been here. I know my way around this city. Uh, you know, I think that, I feel like, especially tonight, this is, um, you know, I'm a guest. I'm a guest. It's the Imagine Dragon show. Hi, you know I, I love Imagine Dragon. With that Imagine being Dragon. said, okay, good. with that being said, <laughs> um, we're gonna go out there and do what we do. And I think that um, you know, I've been super inspired to to watch their sets and the production that they have and the showmanship of all of them and the way that Dan controls the crowd. They're just a phenomenal group, and I'm super you know just grateful to be on the road with them. They've been amazing. Well, as a local, I'd like to say this is your show, too, because there is a huge amount yeah. of people that are excited about you being here. Yeah. Uh, you just uh, you posted something on your TikTok the other day where you were, I think it was in Pennsylvania, and they didn't let you back in the venue. They didn't want to let you in. What was going on there? Well, I, Hershey, Pennsylvania, they also have, it's, they have the Hershey plant. They have the massive compound of candy and they wouldn't let me ride my scooter inside, which now that I said that out loud, seems fair. <laughs> they wouldn't let me ride the scooter inside. But um, yeah, there was a whole debacle, a lot of security, um, but we worked it out and um, I think they're sending some candy. So we're good. No issues, no issues here, right? No issues here. I love the new single, Maniac. Thank it you. is so good. And I, I we, we already knew that you, you can flow, you can sing, you can do all that, but I had no idea that you had such sick dance moves. I've seen you dance here and there, but man, they were so good. Thank you. Do you have a favorite move that you did? I, I know you gave, you gave viewers a, a choice of four, like pick your favorite mm -hmm. one, but what was your personal favorite move? You know, my favorite move that I did in that video was you know, when I just got loose and I forgot that the cameras were filming. I think that that is the tricky part about any sort of dancing is just like getting outside of your own head, getting in your body and not caring what other people think. And I, ca and I caught that at the beginning of the video. I mean, I caught it throughout the video, but um, yeah, there's a specific part where I'm like, yes, I was in my bag, <laughs> I was in my element. I love that. I, I, I'm going to let you go. I know you got a show to do, but I think something that's really important that you've never shied away from that I absolutely love. Um, and you mentioned this today, September is recovery month and you've talked about your struggles and before with addiction. What would you say to people listening right now that are going through it? Like what, what helped you? Yeah, that's a great question. For me, I never knew for one that I had the disease of addiction and that it wasn't just some moral failing or that I just kept making bad decisions. It was that I actually, when I put a, a drink or a drug in my body, I have an allergic reaction. So for me to be able to diagnose that when I first went to treatment and be like, okay, it's not just my fault. This is something that I have and it's up to me to treat my disease, but I do have a disease. And 
Guilt and shame doesn't do anything. Um, it makes it worse. I don't want to be a secret. I want to be able to tell my truth and be myself. And the best way that I was able to do that was get with other people that shared the same disease and I felt a part of. Um, so for me, it's about going to meetings, it's about working the steps, it's about having a sponsor, it's about being around people that um, we have the same thing and we're in it together. And when we share our stories honestly and openly, that gives us power and the disease dissipates. And you help so many people by talking about it and we all appreciate it. We appreciate you and your talents and welcome back to Las Vegas. We're so happy to have you here. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.